Ms. Burgess and I teach 7th and 8th grade here at Hanley Middle School and I also teach a biology course. Okay guys, everybody should have your title on your paper. Look at the title and tell me why, how is this article rel uh, relevant to what we've been doing in class. So you should have had time to look at your vocabulary words, look at the title. Who would like to share that out for me? There you go. All right, Maya. Um, we talked about tectonic plates. Okay. Like a layer of rocks. Okay. Which is a mental, like to allow the inside from the human. All right, good, good. Anybody else want to share? Why, how is this article relevant to what we're going to be on, what we're doing in class? Kamaya said tectonic plates. Give me another vocabulary word that you should be uh, familiar with. Dakota? Convection currents. Convection currents, good. The vocabulary is always a key component because every day we start class, we always have words of the day. So the words of the day in my classroom, there are no more than four words. So I try to keep that same format for Achieve. The students love that piece because it allows them to bring in prior knowledge or it allows them to give me those I wonder. And then it also gives me the opportunity to have a conversation with them at the end on, okay, you saw the word, you didn't know it at the beginning, what do you think now? So I, I love the fact that they're able to come and talk to me about, you know what, Ms. Burgess, we did this last week and I finally got it. So that's why the vocabulary piece is an excellent tool. So it says rocks in the earth crust are all made out of the same very dense materials. Do you agree or do you disagree? So go ahead and choose what you, um, what you would like to choose. And then do me a favor and write a good response here because after your article, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our after reading poll. So I'm going to give you a few seconds. I'm going to give you a few seconds to do that. Raise your hand when you're finished. Josh, how you doing? First off, tell me, do you agree or disagree? I disagree. OK. Because not all rocks and minerals are the same. All right, good. Have, I like that. They have different shapes and sizes. They have different shapes and sizes. I like that. They're not all the same. Good. Not every rock is the same. I, I put disagree for mine. And the reason why I put disagree because of my prior knowledge, I said scientists have yet to be able to go to the core of the Earth. So with that being said, you know, who knows? That's why I put that there. The before reading poll is, is the opportunity for me to engage with them at the beginning. So it's not so script. Uh, we're starting the lesson. The before reading poll gives us all the opportunity to voice our opinions. So I can share with them my opinion. They can share with me their opinions as well. So it's a way for us to bond before they begin the lesson. So do me a favor, I want you to turn over your template that I made for you. All I did was, all I did was I added what you always do for your achieve there. I just added it on the back for you, but we're going to do, we're going to still, we're going to do part of it together. So looking at your vocabulary words, which vocabulary word do you think Ms. Burgess is going to choose? All right, Karen. Convection current. Gonna, I'm going to choose convection current. Why am I going to choose convection current? Cameron. Why do you think this, why do you think I'm going to choose convection currents? So we've been talking about and, and what topic have we been talking about convection currents? What were we learning about? Do you remember? Eva, what did you say? What what were we learning? Ocean. We were learning about oceans. Now what lab did we do in regards to that? Nakai? When hot meets cold. When hot meets cold. Okay, good. And what water did the did the uh, hot water represent? What color? Red. Red, and then what color did um, the blue represent? Oh, cold. Cold. And what are those convection currents doing? What diagram did we have? Warm. Uh, it was like warm down, rising. It was rising, and then what was taking place? Colder in the center. So it was going around and around, right? Since Achieve was brought to um, Hanley Middle School, I've always just taken in even through the trainings how you can uh, incorporate the lessons with the lessons or science content. So I always align my lessons to whatever we're learning at that moment. And I, all, I, I love the fact that students are able to bring in prior knowledge from things that we've done in the past. So on the back of your paper, this is what I want you to do. So on the back of your paper I have here, now you need to remember and I always tell you you're at 75% or higher on your first try. That increases your leg style. So we're shooting for that. Most of you, you're already making your 75. So today I'm going to challenge you and I want you to go higher. So I'm looking for those 88s and I'm looking for those 100s. All right? So for your vocabulary, I want you to think outside the box. We're going to do one together. That means you need to do three by yourself. I want you not only looking at the vocabulary on the side, I want you looking inside the articles. Okay? So go ahead and write. What word are we going to write? 
Go ahead and write that. Just write the word for me right now, and then I want you to turn back over to your text evidence so I can clarify that for you today. Do me a favor. Go ahead and go back to your article. So I want everybody to click on your article. Who remembers what I taught you this blue button represent? What, what is this blue bo button for? When I click on that blue button right there, what am, what are you, which one are you supposed to hit? You're going to generate questions. So throughout I, want you, throughout, I want you to generate me three questions. How many did I give you last week? Did I say two or three? Three? I'll take it down to two today. That way we can finish because we're going to come back. I'll take it down. I'll take it down to two today. So what I want you to do is as you're reading your paragraph, I want you to hit that box right there. Now let's talk about the text evidence. Everybody go to your activity. This is where you're going to take your reading star next week. So this is where I want you practicing your test taking strategies, all right? So when you do your text evidence, you read this right here. It says, what is the article mainly about? When you're reading through that, the text evidence is basically like you're going to do next week. What paragraph do you go to get that evidence that shows your answer, all right? A lot of my students have been telling me about 50-50. What is 50-50? What is 50-50, Jayla? What did you learn in reading that 50-50 is? How many um, answer choices do you have? You have four. So 50-50 means what? You eliminate what? You eliminate two, and then you're left with what, Alexis? You're left with two. So that two right there says, what is your best two answer choices? So I should see my best two answer choices should be A or C. That's just an example of it. So that's what I'm looking for here, all right? So Ms. Burgess is going to give you time to start your article. I want you taking your time. I want you to do your best. I'm walking around to see how well you generate your questions. Then we're going to come back together, and we're going to do some other things together. Please be prepared to talk about your after reading polls, because I'm going to be choosing some of you to share with me what did you change your mind.